I really appreciate you all for watching. Thank you. Hi right, Diego, day 121 non-stop barbecue marathon. We're doing a paella. And this here is zucchini, onions, red pepper, carrot, cooked next summer squash. That's a um, uh, Spanish rice kind of thing we're cooking up. That's right. On the rocket stove with the cast iron skillet. As you can see, there's really no flame coming up and hitting the pan. So, uh, anyways. Fire's going a little better. I, uh, sh the stick got stuck on the grate and wasn't actually as far in as I thought it was. So I pushed the sticks in more and the fire picked up and the pot heated up pretty dang quick. We're going to have uh, about a tablespoon of lard there. So we're going to just stack all the veggies in here. And they're going to need a lot of grease to cook in. You can use whatever amount you want. Okay, grease is on, and push everything forward. Watch the fire go up better. And as soon as these sticks get down there, I'm gonna add the bigger ones. All right, we're starting with the uh, onions, the bell peppers, and the carrots because they take the longest to cook. And Angie doesn't like her peppers or her onions unless they're well done, as you all know. And the carrots, well, they just take a little bit longer. That's all. So we're going to do this for about five or six minutes probably, maybe ten, who knows. And then uh, once they're cooked up, we'll add the next set of ingredients, the squash and the meat and the mushrooms in that order. Oh yeah, it's gonna be some good grub for sure. Now once again, we're practicing our survival cooking. We're using cast iron skillet, which is part of our survival kit, and we are cooking it on the rocket stove, which is also part of our survival kit. And, you know, just as I'm saying before, I'll say it again and again and again. You can never practice enough for a disaster. The people that are practicing more are less likely to even experience it because they have complete confidence that if it does come up, they can handle anything. And that's the law of attraction. I'm perfectly confident that I can handle Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier erupting. In that case, we would get in the car and we would head to Ocean Shores area with our kits. Just one of them erupted, we would go the opposite direction of whichever it was. Uh, all the way up to nuclear explosions at, at the military bases up I-5. We can flee or we can shelter in place. I added the longer wood. That smaller wood's burning up pretty good, and I want a nice hot fire to cook this food up. Just stir these up a little bit, and then I'm going to add the rest of the vegetables, and I forgot to mention one of them. Broccoli. 
I'm glad I looked for the pulled pork and found the broccoli too. So we're going to add our vegetables. Broccoli will be the last one. And then we will get ready for the rice and beef. Pork. Pork that is. Yeah, can you smell that? Mm, man, that is some good food cooking up there. Dang, I'm getting hungry just cooking. Anyway, uh, we're going to let this go a little while longer, and then we're going to add some water and some rice and some pork. All right, it's getting kind of dark out here. Here's a bit of a curveball. The instructions say to put the rice on and then let it simmer covered for seven minutes. I don't have anything to cover it with or any way to really simmer it. I am going to pull some of the wood off and we will get it to not boil as hard. And that's really easy. You just grab the wood and you pull it out. Throw it on the ground. Look, it's already out. That's how it works in my backyard. Okay, yeah, we've got two and a partial sticks in there burning, so that should really reduce the heat soon. And I'm not going to worry about covering it. I could get it some aluminum foil. And in fact, I think I have some aluminum foil real handy, so maybe I'll cover it with foil. Give it another stir first. And this looks insane. So there you have it. It's real quick, real easy, real simple. Well, no, none of those, but it was good. It took a while to prepare, not a long time. Well, this time I'm going to take to drive to town to get some food, and you can't get this good of food in town. And got some just survival stove practice in on it, and uh, well, it's just a really good end to a good day. Went down to the farmer's market today and shot a video on uh, one of the couple of the vendors there. Anyways, non stop barbecue marathon. 121. Woohoo! We made it 121 days. That ain't even half a year, is it?